Hey everybody, welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, the shortest title in history. Uh, I've spent a little bit of time messing with my soldiers and learning kind of what abilities are there, what weapons we have at our disposal. There's a lot, and uh, hopefully we have a successful mission here on Echoes of Contagion. Our prognosticators have augured o dark omens on this planet, and Inquisitor Vakir believes it's connected to this plague that she's investigating. We should explore and eradicate any signs of corruption. So, uh, we are going to go ahead and start the mission. So, I've gone ahead and renamed some characters, because we can rename the, the first name and then pick from a selection of last names. I'll just leave those at default. Uh, but our Justicar here is Ibram. We've got our Purgator Eclipse, Interceptor Kimosabi, and the Apothecary Mama Bear. I think that's pretty fitting, if you ask me. I did uh, change some weapons. So this one's pretty standard. Uh, just a car carrying the halberd. Uh, if we go into here, it's a couple of halberd options. There's Derig's Reach um, that would, I guess, have the benefit of plus five crit. And maybe we should just throw that on. That's great. We have... Over here on the Purgator, we've got Derek's Sprite. It's got extra crit chance. It's a two-handed weapon, so I feel like uh, trying to get those crits going is the way to see success. Uh, we also have Derek's Edge here, 5% crit, and then a Storm Bolter on our Interceptor. And then on Mama Bear, we've got the Narthesium, striking an adjacent target for three damage, and a Storm Bolter. Hopefully this is good. There might be some optimization that we can do as we go. Uh, but I want to get these guys all leveled up before we start swapping in uh, some of our other knights. And hopefully we can do that here because they're all pretty close to leveling. Let's rock and roll. I also changed up some of their looks. Messed around with that a little bit. So far we only have four classes. My understanding is that as we progress uh, an additional I think four classes become available later on. Damage penalties for cover. Range weapons suffer damage penalties when shooting targets in full or partial. Good, good, good. The psychic disturbances here echo those I encountered on Koromar. The hive cities are abandoned, but there is life below. Brothers, seek out any corruption and purge it. I love the little, like, warp in there. That's super cool. So, uh, Justicar, we want to keep up front. Uh, Purgator, I guess, as well. Interceptor can be, uh, teleporting. Unleash me, your command. Purgator maybe is, like, more mid-range. And then Apothecary is, like, straight up support. My blade is yours. Okay. The Emperor lights our path. I am with you. Nothing so far. On my way. Chaos stirs within the shadows. All right, we've got action shortly. Moving now. Purgator, move. Um, apothecary. I think this is fine. What is your will? And Kimosabi, the interceptor. Let's just go here for now. Uh, I think we just, I mean, we can set this up. No downside. My blade is yours. Ibram. There we go. I love, like, the Borderlands kind of feel that these guys have, too. I mentioned uh, they give off, like, Mad Max vibes. And that's sort of true, but the art style, too, is very Borderlands-y. Now, am I going to end up regretting throwing uh, grenades all the time? I don't know. I don't think so. I do feel like it's pretty solid right now. It's a consistent source of damage that we have. We bring death. What a rip. so unpredictable where they're going to end up after launching all of that, but 
That's fine. I am here to serve. So we have this teleport skill now that can get us anywhere in this big circle for one AP and one willpower. Um, pretty strong. I feel like might be best for uh, for flanking. So I don't know if we need to do that just yet. We could jump over to this side and wait for them to kind of run in. Or even here, I think, is fine. I don't think we have a, a great flank from there. As you will. And if we have the extra AP here, which uh, I guess we don't. We only have one. But this is I think this is okay. If this guy runs in, he might take cover there. But let's see. They shall not pass. Standing ready. Purgator. Let's set you up over on this side. And you'll have an overwatch available. Same idea. And then last but definitely not least, we got Mama Bear bringing up the rear here. Let's do uh, this position. And we'll lay this across. Okay. Oh, I still have I still have AP on you. <laughs> Whoops. Well, guess what? I am with you. Let's let him get a little closer here. Loaded. We'll speed up the enemy turns a tad. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> they have explosives. Good to see. Kill them all. Eat them. They're just going to perfectly ignore all my overwatches, eh? Yeah, it seems about right. Oh, that's smart. Damn it. That's smart. So the Jessicar is like super pinned. Wow. Your orders. Okay. This is where I think the teleport could come in handy. We come over here, we can teleport for one. And then, and then we could grenade this group and get rid of a bunch of these overwatches. I'm just hoping we can get over to this side. It's a little messy and there's going to be a bit of a dangle involved. But I think it's the necessary play. Unless, I mean, I can also just whip this from here. Hmm. There's this cone over here that we could maybe just avoid if I hit these three with another grenade. Yeah, I think let's do this. We bring death. Look over there. You have been judged. Unleash me. Okay, so this thing, I don't know if there's a way I can kind of hover on it to get ready. more info. Because it said it was going to go off in a certain number of turns, but either way. Um, how do we want to go in for these? That's a kill. Oh, this little skull meter, that's their stun meter. Uh, so this guy needs like four stun, this guy needs three, this guy is going to be dead, and this guy uh, needs four. Or, or on the attack, it will take him down to four, I guess. So if we crit, I think. I'm not exactly confident in how that works yet, but we'll continue figuring that out. I kind of just want to run in here and kill this guy. I just don't know if that's strategically the most sound operation. My blade is ever ready. We're a little out of range here. Um, let's do the teleport. Sorry, I keep hitting escape instead of right-clicking to cancel. So this leaves me with zero, but if I teleport there, I have one. In an instant. Okay. Let's soften this guy up a little bit. If we were to cybolt here, shoot a target at 10 range, deal five damage, plus two crit. And it's going to use a willpower as well, which is going to boost this. So I don't know if it's totally necessary. 
Let's hold it. Let's bring Purgator over here. We'll go into half. Psychic Onslaught, unnecessary, but shoot a target at 10 range to deal 5 damage and blast the area uh, to deal 4 damage. No stun, ignores cover. Okay, so if people are grouped, we also have this as an ability, 2 willpower uh, to use it. For the Emperor. Fair play, fair play. What is your will? Uh, Mama Bear. I suppose we could take this side. And still have a shot. This guy could flank us. Moving swiftly. We side bolt it. It's gonna impact uh, or give bleed. We bring death. So let's see if that bleeds enough to kill him. If we look at this. Can we see? Suffers two damage a turn, so he should actually die. Right? The way I'm the way I see this? He should be dead here. Um And then I think we go in for this attack. Don't need to force strike. Fury. Okay. I'm here to your see. orders. And then we can follow up here. 105 crit. Okay. Yeah, we should definitely go for this. This will impact, or this will give bleed as well. Hmm. Is that necessary if we crit? Maybe I don't warp charge this. Emperor, guide my hand. So we can add a stun, you can see here, or disable his ranged weapon. Well, I think that's actually better in this scenario because we still would have to do a lot of work to get the stun. Oh, that's sick. <gasps> that's so cool. Okay, so his bleed did not exactly go the way I was hoping. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So their uh, damage over time effects take place after their action. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, that's neat, that's neat. Okay, let's set up to get inside here. My blade is your emperor likes yeah. our power. I'm here to try and get the purgatory way up there. Advancing. I am here to serve. Interceptor go. Am. Standing ready. And big old mama bear. I am with you. Uh, where are we at for ammo? Storm. Three on three still. Okay. I don't know if enemies can come crashing through stuff. I will fire when ready. We're about to find out. Commander, I sent a massive spike in warp activity below. It is a warp surge, Inquisitor. Such events are common in pitch battles between psychos. And yet your brothers have clearly restrained their powers. Something foul is at work below. So we've been warp surged. Where can I see the outcome of this? It looks like there was something on us, but I don't know what that is. Okay. Praise the M. Your orders. More horrors invade our realm. I think I'm okay getting these guys way up here. I, sir. 
My blade is ever ready. Taking position. And then if we trigger that, we should get actions back for everyone, I'm That's thinking. Unleash me. Moving now. So we'll send in Ibram here. Onward, brothers. Nice. Gods preserve us! Okay, this is a much larger amount than we faced previously. For the chapter. Your command. Yeah, so we get everything back. That's a really neat a way of doing things, I think. Um, this, come on. this is going to be hard not to take a grenade. Right? We have to. Unleash me, your orders. The Emperor lights our path. Uh, maybe what I should do is take that full cover position for the grenade throw. We also have this. Oh. It's it's good. It would kill two. I mean, I can't really complain about that. And it would still leave me with more. I just wonder if I grenade this, if there's a chance that more of them could fly over into this line. But if I hit this big group in the middle, I think they're all going to spread, so... Yeah. Let's do this. We're going to clear the field a bit. Plus, environment makes it more badass. Can we attack at an angle? Not really. Hmm. Okay, let's hold you for a second. I'm really hoping that I can have an angle here with the grenade. I can. Beautiful. Look, I just love how... Oh, that's so nice. So generous. As you come on. The enemy is There's another wounded. tower back there we could hit. These guys are pretty far. Are they all melee? Looks like it. Melee, 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 melee. Uh, this guy's got a gun. That guy actually has a gun there, too. Okay. My blade is ever ready. Did I just teleport right in here? I don't know if I need to be that aggressive, to be honest. From this side, it does look like I'll have a shot at all of them. The only person I have to worry about really is there. Let's just take this spot. I don't have enough damage for the for their ranged unit, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna. I'm going to try and weaken him a little bit. Oh, maybe with Cybolt. Mm. Taste my fury. Praise He's the definitely Emperor. weaker. We'll see I if Mama it. Bear can clean it up. Okay, so now we got a couple so melee guys running at us. Unworthy. I don't know if they're going to be able to reach us or not. And then you, my friend. What do we do here? Do I just go killing as much as I can? I think so. 105 crit. Shot! 
So was that his auto that triggered there? I don't know. It was going a little quick. Ooh. Not the way I expected that to go. Okay, so they definitely have the range there. Strong we shall stand. Okay. Now, is there a world where you can clean up all of these? And kill that, for one. Uh, so, hold on a second. I want to figure out, like, if I go here... Is there a way I can set it so that... I can simultaneously select a target for melee attack in adjacent space. So if I go here... Ah, there we go. Yeah, there. Nice. Vengeance. We slay the darkness. Yes, we do. Ah! Glory to Zypos. Purgator. I have one ammo left. We'll just take the shots. Yes, come on. Worsed ammunition depleted. And then we can reload for I one. Sanctifying my rounds. You can continue shooting. Opening fire. Glory to Xiphos. And we can even chain this one still. On way. No match for the Emperor's chosen. Han, the Emperor lights our path. Coward. All enemies have been Okay, been baby. Good work, Commander. I really appreciate that they're giving us kind of like some basic battles at the start. I'm sure things are going to get just hairy uh, sooner rather than later, but because there's so many skill modifiers, it's really nice to learn it as we go. So, yeah, fun times. When stunned, some enemies can be immediately executed in melee, giving the extra AP. And that's the key, is getting that stun up and then getting the AP, but right now we don't have a ton of stun options. We have one that's like basically a guarantee. Um, but all their stun meters are pretty high. Alright. 20 servitors. Excellent stuff. Here we go. Oh, I saw a wound there. We did get three promotions. So now I'm thinking we start to work in some of our other um, knights. I think that would be great. So, Purgator. Let's look at promoting you. So, what do we want to do with you? How are you going to fit in here? So core disciplines. Has plus two max willpower permanently. If we go up here into Emperor's Light. Target a blast area over three area. At range 10. Afflicts blinded. Purge 50%. No stun. Over here. Sanctified kill zone. Target blast anywhere over 3, range 10, apply vulnerable 100%. Vulnerable, afflicted targets suffer plus 2 damage from attacks, whereas blinded, afflicted targets deal minus 2 damage with their ranged attacks. Vulnerable seems a little stronger there. Astral aim, shoot a target at range 10 to deal 5 damage. 105% crit. I see crit, I smile. That's good. And then over here, um, ranged weapon buffing. Okay, so this looks like the way to go. Astral aim. For me, anyway. So, we take the willpower. And then we take astral aim. If the ability crits, you can choose to destroy one of the target's body parts. It's two willpower, but we're getting two extra willpower permanently. So that's the nice lead in there. And then we have potentially armor pierce. We have extra crit damage. 
and mental focus. When the knight crits a target with a ranged attack, they have a 50% chance to gain plus one AP. So those are nice abilities we can gain uh, later as well. Looks like this section is specific to the silencer weapon. This section specific to psychic blast. This one is arcane weapons and war gear discipline, grenade slots and such. Grenades seem, just like XCOM, very strong uh, right at the start. Okay. Confirm promotion. Yeah, Eclipse. In enjoy that. Interceptor, what do we want to do for you? So we went with this teleport option to start out with. If we look at all the other areas, there's Psychic Suppression. Choose a target at range 10 to afflict Silenced. So they, so Silenced units cannot use Psychic abilities. Haven't run into many of those yet, I don't think. Over here, we've got the Hammer Hand, 105% crit. That seems pretty good. But then we're kind of got two heavy melee focus units, which I guess isn't too bad, right? Down here, we have the Aegis Shield. When the enemy is shot, this is support fire. Within the knight's weapon range, he'll also shoot to deal plus two damage to the target. Cannot trigger with overwatch. Huh. That seems like a decent area to go to. Aegis shield down here. Cleansing strike. Strike an adjacent target to deal four damage. Purge. The target loses all of their mutations. Hammerhand discipline. Melee Discipline upgrades crit, crit, and damage. Psychic Suppression and Teleport Strike. Select any number of targets and a valid destination within range 10 to teleport and deal 4 damage to all targets. Any number of targets. No stun. Immune to autos as well. So autos are the counterattacks and overwatches, I think. This seems pretty cool. Whole bunch of attacks. So if I went here, I can swap with allies. And then I can go into Teleport Strike. Select any number of targets and a valid destination within range 10 to teleport and deal 4 damage. Like, that seems very strong. 3 willpower, pretty expensive. Pretty expensive, but... If we get this, they gain plus 2 willpower permanently, so maybe... Yeah, I start with this, but then at some point we grab here so we can have more willpower. Yeah, this seems cool. Almost like a, like a sort of a Reaper skill from XCOM where you're like chaining attacks or something. Except it's all happening at once. Okay, and then our Apothecary. What options do we have here? The ability gains plus two heal, so we can heal for more on our innate battlefield medicine skill. Uh, Terminator armor. Yeah, maybe just like being able to equip better armor would be good. Warp speed, biomancy. Select a knight within one range, gain plus two crit damage for melee attacks and plus one move speed for two turns. Okay. Target a blast for uh, bleed. That seems cool. Servo Skulls provide limited use specialized weapons for your Grey Knights. You can equip one Servo Skull per War Gear slot. But right now, everyone's carrying grenades, but we could swap that with Servo Skulls. And this will give additional unlocks there. Iron Arm Biomancy. Target a Knight within one range. Gain plus one stun with melee attacks for one turn. Target a Knight within one range to gain 25 resistance. A true, true support. Okay. I think I'm going to take the Terminator uh, armor here. And then... Hobbled is pretty good. Like, Hobbled in that last battle against all those melee units could have been nice to slow people down quite a bit. Or I can take the Bleed for two damage a turn, which is, again, pretty strong. Or we can buff our own guys with extra crit damage for melee attacks, plus one move speed for two turns. I mean, that's nice too, man. I think... I think I'm gonna take this. And we buff our guys. 
Okay, so she... 23 days. That's like no joke. When your knights return from the battle wounded, they'll need time to recover. Wounded knights can still be assigned to combat missions, but will have a penalty to their max HP. So minus 3 HP. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's scary, I guess. Um... Let's see. So loadout, armor type. Yeah, see, Terminator armor now. So this gives plus two armor, and they're immune to knockback effects from enemies of equal size. Versus power armor, which I guess is enhanced mobility to climb obstacles over their height. I think having the extra two armor is pretty huge. Because that soaks up a lot of damage. Let's equip that. Oh, and, oh, and they look more badass. Hello. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so let's see... Let's see what's happening next. Do you seek wisdom, Commander? I am... I hope that aids you, brother. Wound recovery time 100% can be increased through certain Apothecarian upgrades in the Manufactorum. We're currently working on the Augurium, the Poxwalker Necropsy, and the Healing. Uh, cool. But I don't think there's anything else I need to be checking here right now. So the idea is that we go and try and do these ones, I suppose. Oh, look at that. Mission unreachable in time. So we were considering previously um, if we could do these, but it looks like that will not be happening. Now, should I travel to a more neutral regions so that I can reach more places? I I would guess maybe yes. Because we don't know where they're going to spawn. <laughs> I just lose so much uncertainty, man. What do we do? Campaign will be over in 10 days because I've totally misunderstood the assignment. unchallenged okay uh oh so this is expired yeah fine commander. the commander the edict will not be able to reach all missions before they expire reconstruction of the warp drive and augurium systems will make it easier to reach missions with time to spare yeah totally totally understand yeah thanks that's good advice that's very that's great so um continue traveling to the destination Oh, I guess we're going there now. Uh, Agurium is operational. Prognostor requires functional once again. Ship status. Okay, additional projects are unlocked. I like. So it looks like we have access to upgrading the barracks. So extra capacity and plus one recruit rank. So what does this mean exactly? We hope to lead a larger force and need to make a fitting space for them. I would assume that this means the rank at which they come in is higher, which seems really good. Um, that seems solid. The Urgurium, what is this going to add? Plus one Prognosticar. Okay. Or the Plasma Reactor. Bolstering the reactor is an essential step towards restoring the edict to her rightful glory. Power output remains too unstable. Okay. Can we increase by upgrading the warp drive? Okay. So the speed, if we're looking at kind of in the future where we want to get to, we do want to increase ship speed so we can take more missions, right? And to do that, I need to improve the uh, reactor output. So that would be here. Augmentation chamber, we also need reactor output. So all of these is stemming from that, which is great. Um, in here, the shields, I need reactor output, reactor output, reactor output, and ship is damaged. And then the barracks, yes, I could take this, but I also need reactor output for quite literally everything else in here. So guess what? We're going to do reactor output. 12 servitors, 12 days. Let's go. All right. Uh, so, next, we've got three days on that research. We have restored functionality to the Augurium and should review our Prognostica Choir. Attune Prognosticar. 
when prognosticers are attuned to a system, they will extend the mission timer in all adjacent systems. Oh! Minus one corruption level when attuned. Enemy types detected for missions. And bloom missions deadline plus three. Select a system to attune a prognostic arc. So we want to select a system that's hitting a bunch. Right? So, I mean, any of these middle sections are fine, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. Yeah, I mean, makes the most sense to hit as many systems as possible, right? So either one of these is probably fine. Let's do it. A tune. Um, okay, so I'm looking here. This is the icon for prognosticars. Gotcha. So that's going to use that up. Cool. Let's travel back to this middle section. This is where I originally wanted to be. This poxwalker was one of the Imperial faithful, afflicted with a strain of mutagenic virus. There is no doubt we are dealing with the work of the plague god Nurgle. This must be the bloom whispered of in those astropathic fragments. Within the carcass, I found a germ of some ancient power corrupted with a foul psychic resonance. This seed is used to spread the virus. Of that, I am certain, but it arrived to me damaged, and there is little else I can learn from it. In order to study how we might fight this plague, I must acquire one of these seeds completely intact. I can instruct your brothers on how to extract these specimens properly. Please ensure they pay attention. The Emperor loathes indolence. Let's not disappoint him. <laughs> Wouldn't want to let down the Emperor. And you know she's talking about me, right? Not paying attention, not getting it. Thanks, I appreciate that. Recover a seed in combat. This is Inquisitor Cartha Vakir of the Ordo Malleus. I am alumnus of Evixia Danica. Access code, Clarion Magenta 111721. I require immediate response from Titan. This is Grandmaster Vardan Kai responding, Inquisitor. This act borders on heresy. The screams of the astropods you burned already reverberate through the warp. It is fortunate for you that I am prosecuting a campaign in the nearby Chimera system. I suggest you explain yourself, and quickly. Grandmaster, I have commandeered the Baleful Edict. We face- You have seized a Grey Knight Strike Cruiser. As is my right. I have foreseen dire omens for this sector. Already Nurgle's Poxwalkers roam free. Oh, indeed. I'm surprised an agent of your pedigree is not equipped to deal with such lesser threats of chaos. Agravain, perhaps you can clear up this nonsense for me. My lord, he fell in battle <laughs> during our last campaign against the Cadium cult. We had been returning to Titan for repairs when this Inquisitor intervened. Ah, oh, Brother Ektar, that is sorry news. I trust then that you have appointed one of our brothers to act in his stead. Well, speak up then, Commander. What say you to this Inquisitor's story? Oh, I know I know how to uh, play the political game. We are definitely agreeing with the Inquisitor here. No question. A single one of your brothers oh. could defeat a horde of oh, cool. parasites. Why should this Inquisitor be granted an entire strike force? I am confident these poxwalkers are the symptom of a much greater cancer. I only need a little time to conduct further research. Very well. I am not in the habit of second-guessing those under my command, that is, until given a good reason. I will leave the Baleful Edict in your care. You have my thanks, Grandmaster, but there is yet another reason I desire to speak with you. As steward of the Armory of Titan, I had hoped you could release further assistance. Don't thank me yet. I will give you 60 Tertaean Solar Days to prove this threat warrants the deployment of an entire strike force. Battle-worn as it is, Strike Force Cyphos could be put to good use in several campaigns across the galaxy. Any further requisition from my arsenal will have to be earned. But I... <laughs> Typical. Our 
After each Grand Master's report, you can spend your requisition to unlock and upgrade armor slots. Dang. Okay. So this is kind of like the monthly report at the end of uh, uh, a month for XCOM. The resource slot gives you access to the new knight reinforcements, servitors, grimoires, and other resources at the end of a mission. Upgrading your knight requisition from Titan increases your chances of recruiting Grey Knights at higher starting ranks. Additional knights are made available through mission rewards on a rotation basis. Titan does not guarantee a knight of any specific class will be available. Okay. So I'm, I guess I'm going to be picking this, but... You can only unlock or upgrade each slot once per report. Slot upgrades increase your chance of accessing more and better equipment and resources. So we see here reward chances. Never to always, never, 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 never. So I guess this is like their, um, like their ranks, right? Or the, the quality of these things. So ranged requisition. The Armory of Titan houses a wide variety of mastercrafted ranged weaponry, including standard issue Stormbolt patterns, along with relic Psy Cannons, Psy Lancers, and Incinerators. Upgrading the ranged requisition increases your chances of accessing higher grade ranged weapons as mission rewards. Okay, so this is all impacting potential mission rewards, basically. Rank 1 access. So I wonder how you, like kind of stack these so we want like maybe better armor do we want better war gear better weapons like it's really tough to say i do think maybe i'm feeling a little bit light on ranged weapons and then maybe armor increase your chance of accessing more powerful suits of both mastercrafted power and terminator armor i i, I mean at a at a glance this is what i'm feeling Armor, ranged, and knight requisition. This one we'd probably go into every month, I would presume. Uh, so that we get a higher um, starting rank potential. And then if we combo that with the research or the uh, the unlock that we looked at previously, they should come in stronger, more consistently. Satisfied? Yes. Okay, within the carcass, I found a psychically infused seed, a germ of some ancient power now corrupted with foul spiritual resonance. The seed is tied to the spread of this bloom, but it was damaged in this poxwalker's destruction. The next step must be to extract one of those psychic seeds whole from a functioning host. Seed extraction unlocked. Yes, start new research. We both have work to do. What do you need? Okay, so what you're saying is the plague is spread through these seeds. It is not so simple. This disease proliferates quickly, too quickly for those seeds to infect each new case through direct physical contact. My current theory is that the seeds emit some kind of psychic field to help catalyze the spread. So the seed from the sample we collected was destroyed? I need the seeds intact for further study. Your brothers were overzealous in collecting the sample. If I wanted brute force, I would have th sought out the iron hands. Wow, does that ever sound familiar? Be careful with explosives. All right, let's talk about something Very else. Very well. This isn't your first encounter with warp spawn. The Grey Knights and Inquisition have worked together since the earliest days of our orders. We are not all demon hunters, or are we not all demon hunters? Yours serves as the hammer while mine is the arm and the will to wield it. This is knowledge you must already possess, Commander. Are you testing me? Okay, so we're equals in this endeavor? We each have our own role to play as partners. Okay. Yes, partners in my mission. <laughs> okay, so basically, she's the boss. Uh, can I trust you with the lives of my brothers? Know that I will not sacrifice your men unless the need is great. A valuable resource, a rare and powerful tool in the fight against chaos. All right. If we must. What was really cool is in that discussion with the Grand Master, we got to select, you know, agreeing with her, and we got extra research speed. Um, had no idea that these had any type of outcome like that uh, during discussions. So I wonder what the others would have been. I'm guessing, like, um, you know, buffing some of our other areas. Yes, you've but... taken enough of my time. Okay, cool. Thanks. That's fantastic. 
All right, so now we've got a couple of different options. So Pox, Walker, Necropsy, we could go here, 15 days on the seed, plus one requisition. Okay, need to study an intact seed recovered from a live host in order to ascertain how they function to spread this plague. Uh, we also have Psychic Attunement. Prognosticars would re uh, reduce corruption in the system by minus two. Okay. Or we have Warp Field Penetration. Stratagem System and Quicksilver Unlocked. This plague surrounds the world. It, de it contaminates with a miasma of psychic energy that confounds any attempt to intervene from orbit. Yet, with careful study, I believe we can penetrate this shield and project my psychic powers onto the battlefield. Target a knight to heal all. All knights teleport to any visible location. Oh, so these are like battlefield buffs that we could use. Probably limited usage. Uh, this would give plus one stratagem slot, minus 5% warp surge per turn. Could be good, actually. Bloom suppression, plus one willpower on warp surge. Uh, those could be good, too. I want to get into this. This seems awesome. Let's do it. So, 10 days. Fair play. Okay. Manufactorium. Lunette, what do you have to say? preliminary salutation. <laughs> Consider this requirement fulfilled. Uh, yes, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, at last, we can dispose of the Poxwalker corpse. An unclean, organic thing fouling my ship. And the Inquisitor doing her best to desanctity my quarantine procedures. However, now she wants to bring more of these seeds aboard. I will have to audit the consecration protocols. Waiting for new input. What's the status of our construction efforts? Risk factors remain significant. All right. Smart words. Affirmative. Risk factors remain significant. Affirmative. The interaction is over. <laughs> the interaction is over. Ektar. Come. Let us talk over what troubles you. Yeah, uh, Dominus Lunette seems a little uh, rough around the edges. All tech priests are eccentric in their own way. Too much of their mortal flesh has been stripped away. Do you doubt her? There is no being I trust more to look after the Baleful Edict. Yet her fervor for the vessel can at times eclipse our purpose. Occasionally she needs that reminder. That's fair. Do you consider her unreliable in that sense? Her competence is beyond question. She saved my life on more than one occasion. She was key in piloting the Edict through the astral-looking glass of the Euphoric Baron, shattering his demonic spirit into a million fragments. Her competence is beyond question. There are even storied rumors that she's fought alongside Lord Drago. Just probably some Warhammer legend. The Supreme Grandmaster. Would that not make her... Ancient, yes, assuredly. The tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanis Mechanicus are not prone to deceit, nor do they care one whiff for social standing among the unaugmented, as they call us. You know, we Ast Astartes are dispensable. We will live, fight, and die in this endless war against chaos. Our Dominus is, dare I say it, unique even among her kind, nigh irreplaceable. The edict would not be half as capable without her. Whatever best helps you, Commander. What do you make of the Grandmaster's reaction to our Inquisitor? Besides a clear violation of communication protocol, you mean? Commander, you must see that Inquisitor Vakir's evidence here is quite scant. The cryptic meanderings of an astropath and a handful of poxwalkers? The Cadium cult has spread death and destruction across 12 hive worlds and three sectors before we put it down. And what of this seed she's discovered? Arcane talismans as catalysts for corruption are scarcely a novelty to us Knights of Titan. The Inquisitor knows this. So are you saying this isn't worthwhile? The Grand Master will weigh our value to this campaign. It says no, but we're far from being in the best fighting shape at the moment, and it's our duty to support the Inquisition when needed. Okay. If this venture is insignificant, why requisition our strike force? Perhaps there's some piece to this puzzle we do not yet see. Yeah, so she's got more going on. I'm in as I'm as in the dark as you are. Perhaps there's some piece of this puzzle we do not yet see. The Inquisition is vast and dislocated bureaucracy. We may simply be one small piece being shuffled around the board for some other purpose. Yet it brokers nothing to speculate. 
The onus is on you to ensure we do not return to Titan in shame. I suggest you focus on completing the mission at hand. By all means. I hope that aids you, brother. Okay. The armory. All right, so the armory, we're basically just looking at these. Doesn't do anything. Okay. So we'll continue traveling back there. We need to get a seed now. Uh, let's expand this. 12 days on Mama Bear. Here we go. Our prognostica requires to take the presence of three new eruptions of bloom activity. Inform Titan it must act on these new incursions to the best of our ability. Okay. We've got a couple situations. This one I can't get to. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, that one's out of the question. So that leaves these two. We need to eliminate all seed carriers, kill four enemies with grenades for a glorious deed. And then we would get plus two these things. Can't get there in time either? What? Oh, yeah, look at this. I just realized this isn't a direct connection. Haha. <laughs> okay, so I have to go here. What? How is that unreachable? We can definitely reach there. I feel like we could also reach here. Okay, yeah. Oh, I see. It's because I didn't click on it first. That's weird, but fair enough. Win mission with no critical injuries. This would be to get extra requisitions to acquire mastercrafted equipment and new knights from Titan. So I think when I'm looking at this, I'm considering, uh, A, do they have any of the extra like bloom expansion maybe and b what the rewards are win mission without using willpower we get three of these uh i don't know if we want to do that exactly um i think this one killing four enemies with grenades seems pretty doable um but so does this so does winning the mission with no critical injuries right um on the other hand if we go here, because it's in uh, one of our, uh, what do you call them, prognosticar tunings, then we actually see the enemies that are in here. Pox walkers and cultists of Nurgles. But I feel like it's going to be similar across the board, right? So if I want to get the bonus, we're going to try to kill four enemies with grenades and go here. I guess the other option is to look at this. So based on what we unlocked there... This is the kind of action that we're looking at. This is a, a rank two purgator that is possibly available. Here is a rank two apothecary, stormbolter and terminator armor, 15 servitors. And then here is a rank three interceptor. Dang, rank three and Terminator armor. We get fewer of these if we win with no mi mission critical injuries, but I think take getting a rank three soldier, doesn't that just seem like the best way to go? It does for me. So that kind of changes things. And hopefully we have no critical injuries, right? Like it's still early. I feel as if we're pretty strong. So um, some other rewards are less, which seems like pretty good balance, but we get a, a rank three interceptor. Let's travel. Uh, Mama Bear will be back in time. Ship improvement complete, improved reactor output. So the edict starts to sing again. It's a melody only those within the cult Mechanicus can truly understand. But areas that have been devoid of power since our encounter with the Cadium are now back online. Let's start another new project. Okay. So, warp drive seems pretty important to me. Um, grimoires for research speed. Gain one servitor per 10 days. I mean, these seem pretty crucial. I, I feel like the earlier we do this, 
something like this would be the more beneficial, right? We also have uh, our shield, so we can get our hull integrity improved. Um, can be restored to its max value through repair. Ship to ship confrontations. Yeah, I have no clue if those are going to be valuable yet or not. So I wonder now. Oh, 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 oh. Your men have had ample opportunity for combat in this campaign. Brother Hector tells me the experience can be properly integrated only through lengthy meditation in an appropriately prepared chamber. A strange notion, but no doubt he's correct. Does this mean I have to store somebody in that chamber? Or does this just give everybody 50% extra HP? Stores fallen brothers. We also had no choice but to harvest the gene seed of any knight whose injuries surpassed the limits of the apothecarian. The stasis chamber will allow them to be interned until they can be put to more productive use. And this would get us an extra prognosticar. Very interesting to me. So, at a glance, Meditation Chamber and the Augmentation Chamber both seem great. I'm going to take the Meditation Chamber and see how this goes. And then, I do want to get the Barracks as well. Wait, can these be happening at the same time? No. Okay. Okay. 24 days. Maybe... Oh, I wonder if we lose the servitors that we invested there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna buckle down and, and get that. Uh, that's that's fine. It's fine. We're gonna make it work. That's how we roll. Stratagems are unlocked. While you've been busy, I've been probing the plague's thematic defenses. Have found a weak spot that we can penetrate. It's a minor breakthrough, sufficient to deliver only modest aid to your knights on the ground. But a small tear can become a gaping rent if enough pressure is applied. Warp field penetration. Alright. Stratagems. Target a knight who gains plus two AP. So this is like kind of card based. Because now we have these, which I presume are going to be those cards, right? Target a knight to heal all. All knights teleport to any visible location. Like, that seems really good. Gate of Infinity. All visible enemies afflict immobilized for one turn. <laughs> so they, like, can't move for a turn, right? And all knights gain plus 50% crit for a turn. Hmm. So currently... Target a knight, and we can give them plus two AP. Like, that's pretty strong in, in and of itself. I don't know if these are all... Like, you can use these all the time. Uh, or if you have a choice of picking... Oh, actually, I can't even do these, because I need seeds for these. Oh, fair play. Insufficient seeds. Oh, okay. So I need seeds to unlock all these rows. That's what this is showing me. So this is the only one I can do. Psychic Attunement. Uh, which is fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay, so we want to win with no mission critical injuries. Um, this seems really cool. If we're, it, I, I'm, I'm pumped to see if we just get all of these guaranteed or if it's chance based or what. Um, chaos detected. Who knows? In terms of who we're taking out here, glorious deeds are optional objectives that add risk to a mission, but grant requisition rewards on success. You must choose whether to accept before beginning the mission. Oh. Okay. By accepting a Valor Deed, you commit to completing an act of glory in the course of this mission. Success will be rewarded with additional requisition, but the Grandmaster will be displeased if you fail. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
So, yeah, I'm selecting it. Maybe it, maybe the reason this is here is because there's multiple that you can choose from or something. But yeah, we're going to select this and hope that this works. Inquisitor Vakir has developed psychic techniques to support you on the battlefield. Ah, uh, so here. this interface to choose from your available stratagems. Select this slot to load a stratagem into it. Oh. Later, you will gain access to additional slots. For now, you have only one stratagem available. Select Quicksilver. So I technically have two... Okay, I technically have two slots, uh, but we only have one thing unlocked. And when we get more seeds, we can unlock more, right? So that's cool. We can't double up on the card. I tried. Okay, so I'm thinking for this mission, who do we have? Your brothers will rejoice at the challenge, Commander. So new knights are available from Titan at a small cost of requisition, which we're trying to earn. We don't have any yet. You can recruit them at any time if your roster gets low. That's fine. Upgrade the barracks to increase recruits' ranks, which seems pretty clutch, if you ask me. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, okay, we should probably keep the Interceptor and the Apothecary because uh, we have Purgators and Justicars. Um... So maybe we'll swap out He's got that Derig's reach. He's got Derig's sprite for extra crit and damage. Uh what abilities does he have? So he's got that astral aim, the 105% crit. And our Justicar has the warp charge. Okay. Okay. So maybe we'll swap out our Justicar for the other one. I think that's fine. If we look in the loadout, let's go Force Sword and... When this unit's hit by melee attack, 50% chance to cancel it automatically. That's their auto attack. Or we go to Ector's Brand, where you activate the Force Strike for plus one damage. You still have the auto parry, and it has plus one crit, so that's straight up better. Um, or Darren's Edge, where you have the plus 5% crit. Our Interceptor's currently carrying that. That is so clean that it shows all of that. Okay, so let's take Ektar's brand then, because we're going to keep our Interceptor, and we'll just bring in, like, one kind of rookie, I think, uh, each mission. I think that makes sense. Uh, Terminator armor is on. That's good. War gear is the grenade. And range weapon Storm Bolter. I guess we should... These are just better. These should be equipped. For sure, a hundred percent, right? I don't know if this is like a, a like a pre-order type deal, and that's the reason that we have these. But these are straight up better. We can add damage with Cybolt to both of these, uh, but it's basically: do we want to have extra crit damage or extra crit chance? I think crit chance is going to be better overall, right? So, uh, Mythrak, we're going to rename you. I'm looking at my uh, Patreon list first here. I've got a Krajim. Everybody that submitted names, submitted names very much in the uh, Warhammer style, which I think is super cool. Let's make you a little pink here. And we'll go orange hair. We'll just swap some of this up a little bit. Okay. So Krajim is our other Justicar. So rank one, I think we'll keep our Purgator here. He's got the Sprite. We've got a Storm Bolter here in Darren's, Darren's Edge. And then our Apothecarium for healing and the basic uh, Storm Bolter as well, I guess. Oh, I have Forgiveness. Okay, let's equip that one. And then we've got the Bolter and Ektar's Brand. Derek's Sprite there. It's a two-handed weapon. So we're going to let that 
continue to happen. I don't think there's anything better here. Derek's right. He's using a Psy Cannon. Could go Whim of Fury. Gives the plus one weapon damage. Everything else is kind of the same. The Silencers. I might have to do a bit of research to figure out what these weapon types are. This adds a, a Disrupted to the ranged attack. Scatter shot and crit. Is there a way in here I can see what disrupted is? Okay. I mean, they all have it. If I hover, I don't get that. Okay. So maybe I just don't complicate it right now. Incinerator seems cool though. <laughs> Activate to deal plus one damage per two ammo spent. Deplete all ammo. Oh, okay. So right now, because he's only got three ammo, he's only going to get plus one damage, right? Because uh, at some point, maybe we can upgrade this. Look at this. Plus one damage against demonic targets. Afflicted targets lose all mutations. 25% chance. This weapon has no stun. So I guess that's the trade-off with those. And then this, these are for like disruption. Let's stick to the side cannons. And we'll stick with the, uh, the spite. Extra crit. So I think this is the, this is the squad that we'll go out with. Uh, Justicar, Krajim, Purgatory Eclipse, Interceptor Kimasabi, and Apothecary Mama Bear. Uh, again, please, if you guys have advice for this kind of stuff, uh, let me know if I'm like way off base in the way I'm thinking about something. Uh, I'd be happy to learn it. So, uh, please, please, send me advice whenever you can. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.